Um, if you guys are watching this video, especially if you guys are my job course subscribers, um, if you are thinking about going, my advice would be to let that be your last resort. Go get what you want and get out. Bam. You will have about three other roommates, depending on what type of room you're in, because they had the the regular rooms, which had four beds, and then they had the honors room, which still had four beds, but that room had a um, refrigerator in it. Then you had the college room which had two beds in it it had a really nice bathroom it had a TV and a um, refrigerator in the room so in order to get in those rooms you had to be a black or a gold I think one of those you had to yeah you had to be a black and a gold or no no you had to be a black or a gold to have those rooms um I was lucky to be in the cup phase and still be in the college room. <laughs> there there were cup phase. When you first enter Job Corps, you're already a cup phase. Cup phase means you don't have any points. You're just basically not really doing anything. And it's not bad to be a cup phase. It's just not really all that great either. Um, the next phase, I think, was silver. And then it goes, no, it was bronze, silver, gold, and then black. Black was the highest. You get to go on all the trips. You get to have the college room. And I don't know, you, you get some type of goodie bag thing. So, yeah. And the way you earn points is by really volunteering around the um, campus, doing good, basically. And the administrators will give you points, things. I, I kind of forget. I don't really know. But I know that you have to basically help out to get them. And if you get written up, it takes away points. So you go down a phase. Yeah, they're all called phases. Some trades are six to eight months, others are over a year. So it depends on what trade you pick. Not every job corps have every trade. So you need to look into what you want to do and then pick the campus based upon there. My choices was between, because Jacksonville was always packed, I had Gainesville and Miami. So I guess you guys can already tell which one I chose. If I could go back and change one thing, what would it be? I think I would change... I would change my attitude towards certain people. Because some people deserved it, you know? But I would change my attitude. I think that is one thing I would change. What is there to do at Job Corps? Um, well, the one I went to, they took us on trips. They took us bowling. They took us to the movies. They took us to the mall. They took us to the beach. They took us to uh, Bayside. They took us to Halloween Horror Nights, which was in Orlando. They took they took them on some trip to Tampa. They took, you know, it kind of all depends. Um, what is there to do on campus? There are clubs. You can, um, there are clubs. There are dances. 
there are sports, uh, there's the weight room, um, I don't, I don't know, they always have something going on, you just gotta kinda be a part of the campus to understand and know what's going on. If you're one of those students who just don't really like to do anything, then you're not gonna do anything. My overall experience at Job Corps, it was okay. You know, I've had some high moments, I've had some low moments. It honestly could have been a better experience, but I had a pretty good experience altogether. Um, I actually, I would not go back and do it again. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Between a non res and a res is a non res is somebody who lives off campus, which means they live in the area and after school ends, you can hang on campus for a little bit, but you have to leave and go home. You don't have to go home, but you have to get off campus at a certain time. And a res means that you live on campus, and when school ends, you're basically I mean, you live there, so you go back to the dorm, and that's pretty much the difference between a non res and a res. If you are kicked out of the program, you will not be able to go to no other job corps in the United States. I don't know if they still do that, but when I was there, if you got kicked out, you you basically wasn't able to go to no other job corps if you couldn't get back into the one you got kicked out of. And it's kind of all depends on what you did. So if you did something pretty major, then yeah, you're out of luck. You're going to have to find another program that will, you know, allow you to go. Do Job Corps help you get a car and apartment? No, they do not. I think once you complete, you get your CTS person and they help you get a car or an apartment. But they don't help you get it. They help you look for one. Like if you have the money for it, then they will help you look for it. But I mean, if you're searching for apartments and cars and you don't have the money, then that's really not a good idea at all. You complete. You get 400 and some dollars, 400 and something of your uh, check at your end check, and then later on you get the rest of it. You're supposed to get a thousand dollars, but because of taxes, you get about 940 something, if I'm not mistaken, 930 or 940, something in between, around that price. I was at Job Corps for about, I want to say, okay, April, May, okay, I was there for about 11 months, yeah, if I count from July, because I came in June, but you don't really count June, I came, if you count from July to May, it'd be about 11 months, so yeah, I was there for 11 months. And yeah. You have to be between the ages of 16 and 24 to enter Job Corps. Um, you cannot have anything on your record. And if you do have something on your record, you have to go to the courthouse and get this paper basically explaining that it was dismissed and you guys already went through that um, whole thing and it's okay. You cannot go to Job Corps if you are on probation, if you are on house arrest, and yeah. If you go and you are a minor, which is 16 and I believe 17, yeah, 16 and 17, you will need your parents' consent to basically do everything. If you go off campus, you would need to call your parent. If you go on a field trip, you would need to let your parent know. Basically, if you ever want to do anything at Job Corps, you will need your parents' consent if you are a minor. So, yeah. Side note, guys. Um, I will not be doing any more Job Corps updates because, like I said before, if I said it before, I completed two years ago. And it's actually been two years, and there's not much for me to update you guys on because I forgot so much. You know, my life has changed between now and then 
So if you guys want any more Job Corps updates or you have any questions, then I would ask you guys to go look at, you know, other Job Corps videos or just call in and ask for information. Or if you still have questions, you guys can comment under my video and ask me the questions and I will try to answer them as much as I can. But if I can't remember, that's because, you know, it's been some time since I last completed so there are some things that I forgot there are some a lot of things that everybody really forget I mean you forget when you have completed a long time ago so me making this video means that you guys do not need another video this weekend so I can just chillax but you guys will get a video this weekend because my family is coming over from all walks of life and I want to record it <sighs> So I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys haven't seen my last video, then you guys need to get with the program. Y'all are late. What the freak? Freaking spiderwebs. <laughs>